Hi everyone and welcome back to another mixed media project and today I'm going for an album cover. As my base I will be using my uh, journal organizer. This is uh, the one that has the four elastics and again it's from my signature collection with Stamperia. I use those organizers a lot since that's where I store my journals. There are also metal corners that come with this uh, base, but I won't be using them today. So the size, if you are wondering, is about 5 by 6 and it fits perfectly the mini journals that I'm working on all the time. So I will start with pattern paper and I'm going for a clean and simple look today. It is super easy to do what I'm doing today so you can easily follow along. You don't need many supplies. So I'm starting with one of the pattern papers from the 12 by 12 pad. And uh, this is the B side where you can see it gives you all that texture without being too busy. And um, I am going to cut it out in quarters. So I cut out at 6 and then I will cut out again at 6 one more time. I will end up with 4 panels that are 6 by 6. I am going to use one of them today for the project and then for the rest of them I will share cards. Big 6 by 6 cards where I will be using what's left from today's project. So stay tuned. Now you need to pick just one of them any pattern will work really and uh, this is going to be the front cover of my album so i'm just going to lay it on top eyeball it and cut it to size by cutting it i will make sure that i leave a little white border all around so if you want the finished uh, dimensions this uh, panel that i'm going to cut out is about six by four and a half and any panel really would work for this. It really depends on which part of the paper you like to show more text or that corrugated uh, look and feel. Now, I am in love with this pattern paper. I feel like it is perfect for pretty much any project. No matter what you are planning to stick on top, it gives you the perfect background for mixed media. And what is best about this pattern paper is that it is provided to you as a separate page. So you don't really need to buy the whole pad or if you like this design, you can buy more of it as singles. So anyway, you will find everything I'm using into links down below, just like always. Uh, here I'm just using my double-sided tape to add some uh, adhesive at the back. You can definitely go with uh, any type of glue that you like. I'm going again for a clean and simple look, which means that I'm not going to color at all my base. The organizer is going to stay white. However, if you want, you can definitely cover it up with acrylic paint at the color of your choice. I don't want to have that uh, vintage look and feel on my project. I want it to look fresh and modern. That's why I'm going to leave it white as the base. And then on top, I'm just going to play with other elements that include uh, ephemeras, uh, decorative chips, papers. So I will be combining many different things, but not paint. I did use my scissors to distress the edges a little bit. This fray on the edges is going to give some extra texture. And now all I need to do is to remove the tape and just place it on top of my journal. I will make sure that I leave that white border all around and I'm trying to align it as good as possible. And of course, this step is way easier to align if you use white glue at the back instead of um, double-sided tape because you can easily slide it on top. Now, these are the ephemera from the same collection. I will be going with this big window and uh, I will combine it with the girl. Now, uh, you can definitely cover up the inside and the back by using uh, the same pattern paper if you like, especially if you buy a couple of them. And uh, it can have the same look and feel all over, inside and out. I want to have that gear a little bit raised. So although these ephemeras are actually stickers that you can peel off the back and stick them down, I'm not going to do that. I will use foam tape at the back to add dimension. 
For the window, keep in mind that you can definitely stick some acetate at the back if you want to make it um, more interesting, if you want to uh, turn it into a shaker. Uh, element also however I'm going to keep it as it is and I will just uh, lay it flat on top of my paper so here you see I'm just peeling off the backing and I'm going to align it on top of my project but again if you want you can use foam tape at the back to add extra dimension I'm going then to place the girl on top on the side And of course, keep in mind that a similar design could uh, definitely be a card. Now we need to embellish the whole composition a little bit more. For that, I cannot think of anything better than flowers and leaves. It is going to give a romantic look and feel in uh, the cover. I did fuzzy cut those flowers from the 12 by 12 paper pad. So I'm just going to play around, decide where everything is going to go. And then I'll just commit and stick everything down. Just because I do have foam tape behind the girl, I can easily tuck things underneath. So this is where you can decide how bulky you want your front cover of uh, the album to be. You can definitely use foam tape behind the flowers to have them popping out. You can definitely stick them down completely flat with your glue. And uh, if you want, you can even combine paper flowers which are way more dimensional than the ones that are fuzzy cut and I'm using here. From this 12 by 12 paper I'm cutting the phrase secret diary which I think fits perfectly for my project and again this is a page that is included in the 12 by 12 paper pad but you can also get it as a single page. Another fun thing that I like to do with my clusters is to use those decorative chips. I'll just pop out some of those leaves and tuck them behind my composition. You can definitely color them with ink, you can use acrylic paint, sprays or even emboss, embossing powder on top of them. I'm just going to leave them as they are because I love how they match the rest of the project. So again, these are just thick paper, so a dot of glue at the back will do the trick. I am using my matte uh, glue to make sure that I don't add any shine in uh, weird places if I make a mess. And then let's finish off the project by adding some uh, iridescent uh, dots. These always add a fun, whimsical look and feel. And what I'm using here is again a product from my signature collection with Stamperia, which is the contour liner. And again, remember, you can use the pattern paper to cut out panels and cover up the rest of the booklet if you like, or even completely color it with your acrylic paints. So that was the project for today. I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired. Don't forget to always hit that like button as well as leave me a comment, it really helps. Here are some close-up photos on the project where you can see the details better. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.